Ask Yuri. You've got a health and fitness question? I've got an answer. Okay, so I've got a really interesting question to share with you today. It's from Kim, who asked a question on my Facebook page about, um, about the following. So she was saying that uh, she, uh, I believe it was her or a friend's, bought uh, Jillian Michaels' uh, body transformation. I guess that's a program of some kind. It includes meal plans, recipes, uh, so forth. The one, she, the one thing she was asking is that uh, in, the, in the program, Jillian recommended against eating cruciferous vegetables like kale, broccoli, cauliflower, etc., strawberries, peaches, and so forth, because these foods interfere with your thyroid and therefore your metabolism. So Kim was wondering, okay, this kind of seems a little bit extreme considering how beneficial, for instance, kale is. You know, Yuri, can you shed some light on this? It's a great question. It's a very, very common concern, and I think very misunderstood elements of nutrition. So, first of all, I don't really like to badmouth people, but uh, Jillian Michaels has done some great stuff with really getting uh, fitness and exercise and healthy living out there to the masses. But I wouldn't say that you know she doesn't necessarily go deep on a lot of this stuff in terms of her expertise and knowledge. So I want to shed a little bit of light on this. First of all, she is correct in the sense that these foods impact the thyroid, okay? Now the research shows that unless you have an existing thyroid condition, like hypothyroidism or Hashimoto's disease, which is pretty much an autoimmune condition, which leads to low thyroid function, those foods are really not problematic. Now the reason that they're traditionally problematic is because they're known as goitrogenic foods, okay? So these are foods which um, impact the thyroids, okay? So the thyroid can, uh, can, if your thyroid is underactive or hyperactive, it can develop a goiter, which is just like kind of like an enlarged thyroid gland as a way of producing more thyroid hormone. It doesn't really happen in a lot of people, in, in most people, but it does happen in some cases. So these foods can depress thyroid function in their raw state. So if you're eating raw kale, raw broccoli, raw cauliflower, they tend to have higher levels of these goitrogenic properties. And specifically, these goitrogens are called glucosylinates. And these are specific compounds in those foods which are also responsible. Here's the thing. These are the very same compounds that are also responsible for the cancer-preventing benefits of uh, most of these uh, brassica vegetables. So you hear all these benefits of eating kale and broccoli for preventing colorectal cancer, stomach cancer. All the, for the most part, the reason is because of the glucosylinates, these goitrogenic properties that these foods contain. So now we've got this catch-22. We have these amazing cancer-fighting properties, which also, for whatever reason, impair our thyroid function. Now here's the thing. The research shows that unless you have an existing thyroid problem, even in their raw state, these foods have very, very minimal impact on thyroid function in terms of they're not going to catastrophically destroy your metabolism. The reason uh, metabolism and thyroid are linked is because the thyroid gland is the master gland of your metabolism, of your metabolic rate. So if you have a sluggish thyroid, your metabolic rate will be lessened and therefore you have a tougher time losing weight. So that's the connection there. And that's probably why Jillian Michaels recommended not eating these foods because they potentially impact the thyroid, which would then impact your metabolism, which would then impact your ability to lose weight. Make sense? So the good news is that even if you have, uh, so again, if you have hypothyroidism, if you have a thyroid condition, again, I'd probably recommend just checking with your naturopath or checking with your you know, your nutritionist, you know, someone other than your doctor who knows about nutrition a little bit more. Um, but if you don't, okay, uh, sorry, if you do, you may want to remove those foods in their raw states. The good news is that simply by cooking these foods or steaming them or boiling them, you can dramatically lower their level of glucosylinates. So again, it's a catch-22. You lessen some of their cancer-preventing properties, but you also lessen or reduce the uh, goitrogenic problems that can arise from those foods. Again, if you have an existing thyroid problem. If you don't, if you're healthy, uh, there really is not much of an issue. Personally though, other than kale, I don't really eat many of these vegetables in their raw state, simply because broccoli, cauliflower, Brussels sprouts, 
they tend to be a little bit easier to eat when they are slightly softer. So it just kind of works out that way that, you know, it's a little bit more palatable if you cook them a little bit. Uh, with kale, you can juice it, you can use it as a wrap. Uh, so a lot of times I'll, I'll use raw kale. But other than that, most of the stuff I'm just kind of steaming lightly anyways. So something you may want to think of as well. With the strawberries and peaches, okay, you know, it's kind of, you know, I would obviously not going to cook those. But again, they're not too much of an issue with, um, for, that, for that specific uh, problem. So uh, again, the thyroid is a very, very common problem. Uh, I want to give you some, uh, some very s simple suggestions. You want to boost your thyroid function simply by understanding how it works. And again, this is a topic I cover extensively in, I believe it's module six or seven in Super Nutrition Academy, where we look at how it works, what it requires, and what you can do to improve its function. Uh, without relying on synthetic hormones and all that stuff. Uh, first of all, the two things you need to understand is that th um, thyroid hormone depends on two really important minerals, iodine and selenium. So you need to get more of those into your diet. Selenium, one Brazil nut per day will meet your selenium requirements. It couldn't be easier than that, okay? Iodine, you're really only going to get iodine in significant amounts from sea vegetables. So nori, kelp, dulse, kombu, wakame, whatever you, know, whatever you want, just eat more of those sea vegetables because that's really the only source you are going to get iodine from. Iodine is uh, one of the most stripped minerals from food in North America. So that's why we're seeing so many of these thyroid related problems nowadays. Getting more sea vegetables in can really make a difference for you. So that's what I'd recommend to start with. And if you need more help with this stuff, uh, remember to go to supernutritionacademy.com to really get a fundamental understanding of how your body works and how nutrition impacts your health, okay? So uh, until the next video, check out the sites, join us, and, uh, and we'll see you then. Thanks for the question. Hopefully it's answered this for you, and uh, we'll see you soon.